Hey everyone, this is Sunshine CRM. In this video, I'll show you how to make API calls to Salesforce using Postman and a connected app step by step. So whether you're new to integ integrations or just trying to get your Postman set up working, this guide is going to walk you through everything from creating the connected, connected app to getting your access token and sending your first API request. Let's jump right in. Okay, so first of all, you want to be logged into your developer org, okay? So you're going to go ahead and go to setup. And in the left side, search OAuth, okay? O-A-U-T-H. And right here, you're going to see OAuth and OpenID Connect settings. Go ahead and click on that. And the first checkbox you see is allow OAuth username password flows. Go ahead and make sure that's on, okay? Make sure this is checked. Okay, next, what, you're gonna, what you want to do is just search external client, okay, and right here, external client apps. Underneath that, you see settings. So we're creating a connected app, so we're just going to go ahead. You see how it says connected app? Go ahead and click new connected app. So it says put in your connected app name. Let's just say postman test app. Okay, now I've already used that postman integration app, okay? All right, so API name gets automatically there. And then you see contact email. You want to put an email address which you uh, can receive emails on. So yeah, I'll just open mine up here too. So, cause you're going to get an email pretty soon. Okay, so once this is filled out, go ahead and scroll down to OAuth settings and you just click this, enable OAuth settings. So now you're going to see callback URL. What you want to put here is just the domain. Okay, everything, before the lightning or everything after calm you're not going to put just go ahead and copy this put this here basically what the callback url is it's the url which the user is redirected to after they're authenticated via postman okay so scroll down here and it says selected OAuth scopes here first you want to give full permission all right and this should be enough but just in case you should add api and refresh token all right there we go so now this is what you need to do right here. Go ahead, ignore all of this stuff and click save. It says it can take up to 10 minutes to take effect. All right, that's fine. Go ahead and click continue. Okay, so now you're gonna be redirected to like this page, okay? This is basically, it just says your app and all your details. So right here, when it says API enable OAuth settings, go ahead and click manage consumer details. And now it's gonna send you an email to uh the email which is uh links the one you said before or it's not actually going to be the email you said before this is it's going to send it to the email which is like linked to the account so mine it's linked to an outlook so let me go ahead and open that real quick right here just give me a minute and right here we can see inbox and there we go we got a code okay let's go ahead and copy this go back to salesforce and paste it right here click verify all right there we go now we see our consumer key and consumer secret make sure you keep this safe you will need this in postman okay so now what you're gonna do is go ahead and duplicate this page real quick okay or you can just go to setup or home and you want to uh, just click your profile right here view profile and then you click settings okay Right here in quick find, you want to put reset my security token. What this is going to do is when you're going to go ahead and click this, it's going to send you an email to the previous account. Okay. Same email. And it's going to tell you, it's going to give you a token. You have to keep this safe, by the way. Right here, it says we sent you a token. Okay. There we go. This is the token. It's case sensitive. All right. There we go. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and head over to Postman. And what we're going to do is just click new and collection. Okay. And we're going to just save, what should we name it? We'll just name it SF. Auth. Okay. Go ahead, click authorization for auth type, just select OAuth 2.0. And go ahead, scroll down here. It says configure new token. Put any name you want. Uh, SF token. Okay. And right here, it says grant type. For grant type, make sure you change this to password credentials. Now it's going to show you access token URL. So what you want to put here 
is HTTPS. Put exactly like I'm putting it. Uh, slash slash login dot salesforce dot com slash services slash oauth2 slash token okay there there we go and i'll i'll paste this in the description too so don't worry about that and but there is one thing let's say you're not using a developer org and instead you're doing this in a sandbox you want to replace the word login with test okay but that's only if you're using a sandbox otherwise keep this as login okay so now you see client id what you're going to put here is the consumer key right here you know that the one we click when we click manage the one it open just go ahead and copy this and go ahead back to postman and just paste it right here okay there we have it and then just go back here and right here what is it say under here client secret you have to paste your consumer secret in that part okay right here just go ahead and paste it boom there we go <clears throat> okay so now it says username and this is just going to be the username of the org you're working in and they list it in the email they sent so i'm just going to go ahead and copy it head back, head back over to postman and paste it right here there we go okay so this is very very important what you want to do here first type in your password okay okay once you type that in do not do anything go straight to your email okay and just copy your security token exactly as is okay there we go just copy it go back over to postman and paste it okay inside the password after there okay so first you're going to write your password and then you're just going to copy and paste your security token after that this is very important make sure you don't put any spaces after your password or any other characters okay so for scope just leave it as is and then click client authentication send client credentials in body okay so go down over here and first click save and then click get get new access token <clears throat> so it says okay authentication complete click proceed and right here click use token okay it says token added we can see all right yep yeah, there we go the token is added now okay so what we're gonna do now is click the three dots right here next to your collection and click add request okay so right here you can see how it says get change this to post so now the url you're gonna put here it's basically going to be any URL that you have over here. Just go ahead and here's, I'll tell you exactly what to do. Just click here. Or actually, don't do it on here. Do it on here. Click here. Click switch to Salesforce Classic and copy this exactly as is. Okay. Just click Control C. Okay. Head back over to Postman. Post, paste that right here. Okay. Now, after the slash, what you want to do is you want to go to this document and I'll paste post this in the description so don't worry so now uh, since we're calling the uh, using the account object so we're just gonna copy at the top as soon as you like click enter on the URL this is what it shows go ahead and copy this okay and we're gonna paste this just right here after that okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to body make sure you have raw checked and make sure this is in JSON all right and now this is what you want to put in here <clears throat> exactly as is curly bracket click enter write name okay put a colon then go ahead and write uh, account created via api post okay there we go okay so now just click send and there we go as you can see your id says success okay just copy this right now basically you just created a new user and if you want to view this user go over here and just uh after lightning just after this just paste your user okay so there it's loading boom there we go we can see our user created account created via api post so that is basically how you create an account using postman and connected apps all right thank you guys for watching see you next time